Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. Case the caddis is a rather unique fly intended to imitate a bright green caddis larva poking out of its protective case. And yes, trout eat caddis larvae, case and all. The fly starts with a size 8 long shanked hook and a small black nickel bead. Insert the point of the hook into the hole of the bead, then slide the bead up the shank until it rests behind the hook eye. You can then get the assembly firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. Solder wire is used to add additional weight and to help stabilize the bead on the hook. Get hold of the bitter end of the wire in the fingertips of your left hand and start making touching wraps up the shank with the coil held in your right. After 20 or so turns, helicopter the wire to break it off close. Be sure to leave some space between the wire wraps and the bead. Pick up a drop of super glue, here Fly Tire Z-Men, and apply it to the hook shank between the bead and the wire. In one motion, slide the wire wraps forward into the back of the bead and hold them there under pressure until the adhesive sets. This will allow you to tuck in the tail end of the wire without all the wraps simply spinning around the hook shank. Next, load a bobbin with a spool of brown unithread. Get the thread started on the hook shank behind the wire and after taking a few rearward wraps, snip the excess tag off close. Wrap over top of the wire, forward, then back, to further stabilize it on the hook. End with your tying thread hanging just behind the hook point. Get hold of the Chartreuse Ultra Chenille and use a lighter to burn one end of it. This will melt the synthetic chenille to produce a lifelike looking tip on the material. Measure the segment of chenille so that it's a hook shank in length, then transfer that measurement rearward to the start of the hook bend, just behind the solder wire. While keeping that measurement, snip the chenille free from the coil. Take wraps of tying thread to secure it to the hook shank. Once again, leave your thread just behind the hook point. Pick up one of the mallard flank feathers and strip off the shorter, webby fibers from both sides of the stem. Preen down 20 or so fibers on one side of the stem, perpendicular to it, and while keeping the tips aligned, pull the stem away to free the fibers. Get hold of the slip of fibers in your right hand and measure so the tips extend about three quarters of the way down the chenille hanging off the back of the fly. Take a thread wrap around the fibers, distributing them around the hook shank in the process. Then adjust the fibers to length if necessary. Take open spiral thread wraps forward to further anchor the fibers, then lift the excess butt ends up and snip them off close. Pick up the coil of copper wire and secure the end to the near side of the hook shank with rearward wraps of tying thread. Continue wrapping back to the base of the tail, then wrap forward until your thread hangs a little ways in front of the hook point. Pluck an ample amount of brown dubbing free from the packet and use it to create a fairly substantial 4 inch long noodle on your tying thread. Start taking wraps with the noodle so the dubbing begins right at the base of the tail. Continue taking touching to slightly overlapping wraps with the noodle up the hook shank to create a body on the fly that tapers from thick in the back to thinner in the front. If you run out of material, go back to your dubbing packet, pick out some more, and create a dubbing noodle long enough to fill in the area behind the bead. Now, get hold of the copper wire and begin making open spiral counter wraps with it up the hook shank over top of the dubbed body. Five or six turns usually looks pretty good. When you reach your tying thread, use it to firmly anchor the wire behind the bead and helicopter the wire to break it off close. Reach for your whip finish tool and use it to do a five or six turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip your tying thread free. Use a dubbing brush, or here a strip of Velcro glued to a popsicle stick, to brush the dubbing out for a more realistic appearance. A drop of head cement, here Sally Hansen hard as nails, applied to the exposed thread wraps will ensure they don't come unraveled. And that's Case the Caddis. It's a rather weighty fly designed to get to the bottom quickly where the natural case caddis are most often found. <laughs>